What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be doing an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ, and we're also going to be talking about a couple of trades that I made today on the 27th of December in 2018. And we do see the time here, there is about you know two and a half hours left in the market, but I had to record this video today a little bit early due to a family birthday party and a couple of hours so we're going to see some live action right now in the markets and I'm just going to judge and do the technical analysis on what we are looking like right now obviously a lot of things can change in two hours especially with how volatile the market has been but I'm just going to give you guys my two cents on what we're looking at right now but before we do that for all you guys that are new to my channel my name is Stas and I make videos dealing with swing trading day trading long-term investing and my personal personal philosophies and strategies when it comes down to investing and trading in the stock market. So for those of you guys that want to learn more about that, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join our Discord group chat as well as our Facebook group. All of those are linked down below in the description box. So for those of you guys that have been paying attention to the markets, you know that we had an absolutely ridiculous day yesterday, the day after Christmas. The Dow Jones Jones was up 1,000 points, the S&P 500 was up about 100, 115 points, and the NASDAQ was up about 3, 400 points, all up about 5%. So this was an absolutely ridiculous day. The Dow Jones actually broke the record on a single uh, trading session point increase, 1,080 to be uh, exact. I believe it was like 1,087, something like that, but that's the most it's ever risen in one day uh, ever in history, in the history of the stock market. So very, very fascinating day yesterday, guys. And in yesterday's trading update, for those of you guys that watched it, you know, I was talking about how today we could potentially see a sell-off due to that massive, massive push up that we saw in the markets and I always recommend you guys to do your analysis on the overall markets every single day to decide what you're going to be trading and this is exactly what I did today and it led to what I ended up trading so if you recalled in yesterday's video like I said we were expecting a sell-off due to the massive push up and when I woke up this morning guys the futures were down the Dow futures I believe when I woke up I think I woke up around like 6 30 a.m eastern standard time they were already down about 300 to 350 points this just told me right off the bat guys that you know these inverse etfs these bear inverse etfs as well as these mar as well as, as these market etfs that go up in price when the markets are selling off we're going to gap up in the morning due to the sell-off that the futures were showing and this also gave me incentive to trade with I traded today and this is why it's super important to do your analysis so like I said guys we were up about or down about 300 points in the pre-market futures for the Dow Jones and uh, pretty much you know that led to more selling uh, as the bell rang as the market opened so we saw that gap down that I was telling you guys we gapped down about 300 points or something like that right you know exactly 300 points we gapped down we ended up getting rejected here started to make lower lows and uh, lower highs we found a little push up here we broke out of the resistance and we pretty much have been keeping flat for the remainder of the day ever ever since that gap down that we saw early on so you know like I said guys we gapped down 300 points and we fell you know another 150 points from this gap down as of right now 140 145 p.m eastern standard time and we also talked about in yesterday's video how you know every time the Dow ended up having a good day or a good or good two three days in a row push up day 
days, you know, judging off these past technicals, we've sold off to lower lows. And that's what seems like is happening right now. We had that very big push up day. And now these candlesticks are showing more selling off, obviously. And, uh, you know, what we're going to be keeping an eye on is to see if they actually end up holding above this support from a couple of months back. Or are we going to break this one and test the support again at around 21,700? So keep an eye on this, guys. Again, since we're most likely going to close the day red today, unless some crazy stuff happens, just keep an eye on whether or not the Dow is going to make a lower low, especially in tomorrow's trading session and next week as we head into 2019. And, you know, that's what the Dow Jones is looking like right now, guys. We're holding above that support from about a year and a half ago, I believe. But still, you know, the signs are showing that we're making a lower low or we're in the process of making a lower low, which is going to continue to push us deeper and deeper into bear market territory and, you know, further away from these support levels. So like I said, guys, the support here at around 22,000, we broke below it. And, you know, now we're testing, you know, we're right at that support again, roughly. We're testing it now. But again, if we break that, you know, the next one was going to be that one that we bounced above uh, at around 21,700. Now, looking at the S&P, guys, and we're actually selling off pretty quick right now. The markets are dropping. We see it's down to about 489. Just take a look at this, guys. Take a look at how quickly this is dropping. It's already dropped about 50, 60, 70 points since I started recording, and this is when panic selling, uh, you know, panic selling starts to kick in. So the S&P 500, if we're judging off this one day, one minute right here, guys, let's just take a look at this very quickly. You know, very similar thing. We saw the gap down, you know, we sold off about 2% right off the bat, 1% 1 right off the bat, and then we started to make lower lows and lower highs. We found the little support level here at around 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We started to push up, but now it seems like we are selling off off pushing to lower lows and continuing to you know get closer to that uh, you know, that support that we see right here from about a year and a half ago. We can see that very quickly on this longer term chart. You know, this supports at around $2,330, about 80 points lower from where we are right now. And what we talked about that's very, very important in the S&P 500, guys, is this trend from the on the 20-year, three-week chart, right? This trend, uh, you know, drawn out by this trend line here. You know, this is a very key technical, uh, you know, point in terms of the S&P, guys. We can see we bounced here on the trend, here, we bounced here as well, and now we've sold off aggressively from the early October, obviously, we all know this, and now we're testing that same support, you know, on that trend that we've been able to hold above over the past couple of years if we're judging on this longer term chart. But if we're looking at a little bit closer time frames here, maybe the three-year week, uh, one-week chart, we notice that we are successfully holding above the 180 SMA here and we are holding above this support that I mentioned at about 2330. So these are very you know critical points for the S&P 500 and just like the Dow Jones guys this one's in the process right now of making a lower low it's aggressively selling off take a look guys it's almost down 60 points right now the Dow's dropped a little bit more as well and TVIX is continuing to push up. So what to keep an eye on guys is to see whether or not we're going to make this lower low and break below that support here as well as that trend on that 20 year one week chart. So let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Let's see what is going on on this NASDAQ chart. And we talked about this and pretty much called this out in yesterday's video guys that the resistance on the NASDAQ is at the 50 SMA and we got rejected pretty hard there. We're down 3%, 3.2 to be exact, down about 200 points. And how can we tell that this is a resistance point? Well, if we're judging off the past since, you know, the beginning of October, the 50 SMA has acted as a very strong resistance. We see it here, right? We popped up. We got rejected by the 180 here, got rejected here by the 50, got rejected here by the 50, here by the 50. And now that we popped up, we had that huge day yesterday. You know, I was expecting to get rejected here again because, again, I, I was expecting a little pullback today, whether it would be a 1%, 2% pullback, 3%. And it's looking like we're going to end up finishing off the day 
day, more in the 3 to 4% pullbacks in terms of the NASDAQ and maybe 2-3% uh, you know, in the Dow and the S&P. But you know, this is in the process, again, just like the Dow, just like the S&P, of making another lower low. But we have to test that support at about $6,000 again right around here from a couple of months back or more like a couple of years back at this point, right? A little bit over a year to be exact. And this support was... Uh like I said, at around $6,000 back in October of 2017. So very critical levels right now, guys. The selling off is continuing. We see it's down 61 points now, the S&P. The Dow's down about 545, and the NASDAQ's down about 220 points. So now let's quickly talk about what I traded today, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can tell uh, or guess what I traded, and yes, it was TV. IX. So TVIX guys had a uh, 18 to 20 point loss in yesterday's session and just today back up 20%. So we pretty much gained back everything that we lost yesterday and some, right? We noticed yesterday we peaked or opened up at around $81, ended up selling off all the way to $70, guys. About a $13 drop yesterday in TVIX. And literally overnight, we popped up and now we're up $14 back from where uh, it sold off yesterday. So if you guys were able to buy this dip on TVIX, congratulations, you made a crap ton of money today. Drop a comment, let me know if you guys bought this dip and held overnight, if you were ballsy enough to do that, right, because with the markets being crazy volatile, you know, holding stuff overnight, especially ETFs, uh, it's kind of risky, guys, it's kind of a dangerous ordeal, but if you were able to do that, you know, you capitalized pretty well on that opportunity in today's session, but uh, let's just talk about what I did today in terms of TVIX. I traded this one in and out on two separate occasions. I ended up taking my profits the second time about an hour ago. I, I put it in the group chat when I took my profits. It was at about $83, I believe, 10 cents. I just took the profits again because when you know when an ETF is reaching a resistance, I usually take my profits if I see it struggling to break out to make a higher high. And exactly, you know, that's what ended up happening here. You know, we popped up here. This is a new resistance. We sold off, right? We popped up here to $83 roughly, right? And we had trouble breaking out of there. So that told me me as the trader that these candlesticks are looking to uh, get rejected here, consolidate and potentially curl back down. So I just took my profits there to be very safe. And to tell you guys where I ended up entering on this position on the second go around was right around here on the bounce on the 180 SMA. So we noticed the S&P was selling off at around this time at 11 o'clock, right? And that's when this started to rise back up. And I got in at around $81.20. 25 cents added a little bit more money at $82 and I held this one through all the way back up to here so my average cost was at around 81.60 up to about 83.10 and uh, this trade on TVIX got me about a 1.8 to 2 percent profit and my first trade on TVIX this one was a little bit bigger in terms of profit I got in on this little pullback here from $80 all the way down to $78. We held that same support that I was able to recognize on my second trade in TVIX. We started to push up in terms of this ETF, guys. The S&P was selling off pretty quickly at this point. I got in at around $79.60, ended up adding a little bit more money at around $81, bringing my average cost to, I believe, around $80.45 to be exact with you guys. And I ended up just taking my profits on this one right Right around here at about $82, and I believe it might have been like $0.35 cents to be exact with you guys. And this was about a 2%, 2.2% profit. So on the day, guys, 2.2% plus 1.8, roughly a 4% day for me today. And, you know, my daily goal is anywhere from 3 to 5%. Do I hit this every day? Absolutely not. In yesterday's trading video, if you guys watched that, I only made about 0.5 to 0.8% yesterday. Very slow day for me, but like I always say, guys, profit is 
profit and I'm very happy with whatever amount of profit I'm getting as long as I'm keeping it consistent, consistently profiting and consistently growing my account while minimizing my losses. Minimizing your losses is very, very important guys. Setting stop losses is super important. In yesterday's video, you saw I was trading DWT and that one dropped 25% in a day. If I didn't drop or if I didn't set a stop loss, which I did, I would have lost 25% on my position rather than 1.5% like I did uh, in yesterday's trading session. So again, very, very super, super important to be setting stop losses, to be mitigating your risk and just, you know, just, just conserving the capital, guys, because stock market trading is all about conserving your capital so that's what i did today guys two trades very quickly in tvix drop a comment down below let me know what you guys ended up trading today i would love to love to know so now let's talk about some stocks and etfs that i'm watching for the rest of this week and heading on to next week into 2019 so very similar to what i said in yesterday's video and earlier in this video guys i think the markets i think personally believe the markets are going to continue to sell off and this is you know going to open up more opportunities for these bear ETFs like I said in yesterday's video guys these ETFs don't necessarily correlate to the overall markets but we noticed that when the markets have been selling off aggressively they've been doing very well like drip you know DWT just another one, right? These are ones that I'm going to be watching very closely tomorrow. Just take a look at DWT, guys. It's up 15% today due to the big, you know, sell-off in crude oil, which, you know, doesn't necessarily correlate to the markets. But since the markets have pushed down, we noticed that DWT has been doing extremely, extremely well. So from $21, guys, all the way to $15, this is what it fell yesterday from that massive surge in the market, right? It fell a big chunk, opening up that margin of profit. And now that the sell-off is continuing, right, DWT has a very solid margin from $17, $18 up to about $21, which is the next resistance. So this is the first one that I'm watching heading into tomorrow. You know, LABD is another one that's looking very, very good. We had a big sell-off yesterday, obviously, due to the surge in the market from $62 all the way down to $46. That opened up the margin of profit. We're holding above the 50 SMA, and we're pushing up in price as of right now. So, again, you know, if the sell-off continues into tomorrow, LABD can be a very good play. DWT is going to be a very good play as well, and I'm liking Drip very, very much right now too guys we pulled from set 27 down to about $17 ridiculous drop I think it fell about 30% yesterday and we're holding that 50 SMA very nicely on drip right here so if we do end up selling off more tomorrow guys drip is going to be a very good play from $20 back up to the resistance at about you know $27 am I saying it's going to recover all of that absolutely not guys we can't really predict that but the whole idea here is to grab some of that profit uh you know that is being offered of around 30 percent uh in drip so those are the main ones i'm watching in terms of uh etfs guys not really looking to trade any large cap stock as of right now. If anything, guys, I'm looking to play some put options against, uh, you know, Apple, Facebook, Amazon if, if the selling continues over the next couple of days. And I'm obviously, like in every single video, guys, I'm watching TVIX as well as uh, SQQQ very closely. And especially SQQQ, guys, this is one that sells off when the markets are going up and when the markets are selling off sqqq does very well so the fact that we pulled back from 22 all the way to 17 held that sma very nicely on the 180 chart and now we're pushing up this one's very interesting in my opinion and offers about 15 percent from where it is right now so drop a comment let me know what you guys are watching 
for the rest of this week. These are just a couple of ETFs that I'm trading in and out of all the time, that I trade all the time, right? And I'm watching pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join our Discord group chat as well as our Facebook group. All of those are linked down below in the description box. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.